It's my 11th year as a pro, so kind of winding up my career. So I'm relishing the role of having these younger guys around to kind of share what I've learned over the last decade in this sport and um, just kind of soaking in all the energy of having some of these younger guys around there. So many races in remote parts of the world, um, races in China I did, um, Mexico, Europe, as well as uh, two national time trial titles that I achieved and um, on and on, but lots of good adventures on the bike. For the off season for a cyclist, because we ride bikes so intensively throughout the season, um, you really need to throw in some variety as far as training and exercise. So you see a lot of people hiking, running, um, you know, get in the gym, do the weight training, do weight bearing exercise, it's good for bone density. Um, I myself uh, like to hike, uh, like to ride the mountain bike, um, the cross bike, bikes we you know, get to ride during the season. Um, yeah, I had a great off season, I did a, did a hike in, of the Nepali coast in Hawaii, so that was the highlight of my off season. As cyclists, we definitely have to watch what we eat. My personal philosophy is just to eat as much unprocessed food as possible. Obviously, that starts with fruits and vegetables, um, oats, oatmeal, nuts, you know, anything that hasn't been processed and um, changed, anything in its natural form is, is, is the first thing I try to eat. The key for me is to focus on, on my goals and my objectives, and you have short-term goals and you have longer-term goals. And it's really important for me to have something directly in front of me that I can focus on trying to get to this point, whether it's, you know, a power on the bike, measured with a power meter or you know a number of repetitions for a type of interval or something like that even even something that simple that I'm working towards uh, it keeps me going it's kind of uh, walking before you can run you know each each uh, trip begins with a step so that sort of thing I guess my number one advice to a younger rider who is serious would be to find a coach to, to help guide them through those those types of questions but again with the nutrition same things I said follow those guidelines um, eat clean foods eat whole foods um, not processed stuff and as far as the training goes um, find a bike shop or find a coach get involved with a time trial series maybe to begin with is less intimidating than a mass start event um, but dive in and just do it it's a real honor to have a company like United Healthcare sponsoring our team especially at a time in America when wellness is such an important issue. Um, something like cycling, we believe, can really motivate people to get outside and get, get the exercise they need and meanwhile enjoy it. Not just a monotonous uh, run on a treadmill, being outside riding a bicycle in the outdoors. We're all very passionate about that. We love that or we never would have made it to this level in the sport. So. Um, to tie that in to, to Wellness in America at this crucial time is, it's an honor to be, be a part of that.